Hi everybody, I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Today is May 20th, it's Saturday, 2023. USGS updated the watch list for the volcanic um, alert levels for five different volcanoes. One is on the orange watch list, the other four are yellow, and four of them are along the Aleutian Islands on, in Alaska. And the other one we shouldn't be surprised about. It's for Kilauea, Hawaii. I have to give a shout out to my uncle. He sent me uh, an email that they had updated their watches and warnings. So thank you. Here we have an image there in Hawaii of Kilauea at Halemamu uh, Caldera. Let me bring this over so you can see it better. And this is the most recent image that they have probably taken about four minutes ago as um, of the time that I'm making this video. You can see there um, 7.30 a.m. Hawaii time. Halimamu, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, was at an alert level of orange and it has decreased to yellow. Here's the latest that they say from USGS. Uh, Kilauea volcano is not erupting and no active lava has been observed since March 7th. The summit seismicity remains elevated. We had um, a flurry of earthquakes at the summit and Namakani region. No eruption of Halemamu. Uh, tilt meters are showing gradual inflation. No significant changes have been observed along either the volcano's rift zone or over the past day. Here is a current image of the East Rift Zone. And yeah, we got some clouds, probably uh, more of the um, toxic gases. It's amazing how since the eruption here and all the gases killed off all the foliage through here. Those of you that follow me will remember how this was all dead and now it has grown back. Fisher 22 would be on the far left and then Fisher 8 would wrap around uh, going across the uh, horizon. This was as of 7.09 a.m. local time today, uh, May 20th. And then here's another image of Halemamu looking down from one of the observation um, decks. Let me bring this over for you. Here's another one. This is a wide angle view and you can see the gases coming up. And this is as of 7.32 a.m. local time. So they are saying that the summit tilt meters are showing gradual inflation. Overall, inflation at the summit of Kilauea is still higher than conditions preceding the January 5th, 2023 summit eruption. We had a flurry of earthquakes at the summit, and I already mentioned that. Additional flurries of earthquakes continue irregularly beneath Kinikwe. Uh, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, and I'm sure there's people here that's going to uh, correct me. The crater, uh, the southern margin um, of the Kilauea uh, caldera since April 16th. Overall, rates of summit earthquakes remain elevated and additional earthquake flurries are possible. The most recent sulfur dioxide SO2 emission rate is approximately 151 tons per day as of uh, May 16th when it was measured. Hazard analysis. Recent eruptions at the summit of Kilauea volcano have been occurring within a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. High levels of volcanic gases are the primary hazard of concern, as this hazard can have a far-reaching effect downwind. Large amounts of volcanic gas, primarily uh, water vapor, H2O, carbon dioxide, uh, CO2 and sulfur dioxide, SO2, are continuously 
release during eruptions of Kilauea. SO2 is released from the summit. It, rea it reacts with the atmosphere to create the visible haze known as VOG, volcanic smog, that has been observed downwind from the volcano. VOG creates the potential for airborne health hazards to residents and visitors, damages agricultural crops and other plants, and affects livestock. And it gives you a link if you want more information. I'll give you a link to this page. Additional hazards during a summit eruption may include Pelee's hair and other lightweight volcanic glass fragments from the lava fountains that fall downwind and dust the ground within a few hundred meters yards of the erupting vents. Strong winds may waft the lighter particles to greater distances. Residents should minimize exposures to these volcanic particles. They can cause skin and eye irritation. Yeah, they can damage your lungs when they get embedded in your lungs. So for today, here's the current VOG for forecast. I don't know if you can see the coloring. Um, it's kind of a orangish yellow that goes across this map here. Let me bring it up a little bit because, let's see, this here would be what? Mauna Loa. And this one here would be Kilauea. And it looks like, yeah, Mauna Loa, um, they do have um, some significant VOG that's coming out. If, if I play it again or let it continue to play, you'll be able to see how it's um, a darker orange up in this location here. Let's see. Let's let it continue. There you go. Right there. Okay. I am going to pause it. Okay. There you go. And again, you can see an area here and an area here. And then we got another area up over here. Um, they're predicting this for 11 p.m. And I'll give you a link to this and you can come down and um, move this little thing around. Yeah. Okay. 10 p.m. Um, 12 p.m. Yeah, can you see that? Let me try and zoom in a little bit. All right. I'm spending a little bit too long there for Hawaii. Let's go to these uh, alert levels. Now, this is uh, alert level yellow. This is for Alaska. Sema Sipaboy. <laughs> yeah, let's butcher that name. Aviation color is yellow. Avio... Uh, Semisipioi, yellow advisory, low level unrest continues. No ash emissions detected. Uh, color code alert level lowered to yellow. So I guess they were orange. Uh, changes current status as of the 17th of this month. Um, and it was originally color coded orange. So going to Google Earth, here's the island. Not quite sure where the volcano is there. And I'll bring this out so you can see the location, um, you know, in reference to the um, other volcanoes and different earthquakes that I have marked. And then up over here would be Alaska. All right. So right there is the location of that earthquake or volcano, excuse me. The next volcano is Tanga. It says aviation color code is yellow. And that was as of yesterday. Earthquakes continue over the last week. No eruptive activity or other unrest. Changes to the current status um, that was originally posted on February 16th um, from alert level watch. Uh, to aviation color code orange. So it's actually orange right now. So we got two probably in orange, at least for aviation, but it's currently yellow. And we'll go to that location using Google Earth. Yeah, close to the other one, which is off on the left there. Yeah, any of these are probably going to be dangerous if they go off for aviation because uh, this is the route where planes travel 
going from the United States to um, Asia, you know, Japan, China, places like that. Great Sicken uh, Volcano. Interestingly, the live webcam isn't working. They have a planned maintenance power outage, which will last until um, 10 p.m. Yeah, how convenient. From May 13th to the 20th. It would have been nice to see a, a live image of the volcano. So the web camera isn't working. It says website service outage. Great Sicken Volcano. Lava continued to slowly erupt at Great Sicken over the past week. Um, adding to a thick lava flow confined to the summit crater. Satellite images through May 16th showed that the lava flow is growing mainly to the east into the summit crater ice field. Let's go to Google Earth and let's take a look where it's at. Also, yeah, within this area of the other volcanoes. So the lava flow is flowing. You can see here we got the crater down in here more likely. And the lava, it says, is flowing to the east, which would be to the right. Only a few small local earthquakes were detected at the Great Sicken during the week. No other noteworthy activity has been observed. A cloud obscured views of the volcano in satellite and web camera data. Well, the, the web camera is not working, supposedly. Um, it is being monitored by local seismic and infrasound sensors, satellite dam, uh, data, web cameras, and regional in infrasound and lightning networks. Um, it is a basalt and a state volcano that occupies most of the northern half of Great Sicken Island. A member of um, the Andrea island group in the central Aleutian Islands. A steep-sided lava dome in place during the 1974 eruption occupies the center of the crater. That eruption produced at least one ash cloud that likely exceeded an altitude of 25,000 feet or 7.6 kilometers above sea level. And a poorly documented eruption occurred in 1945, also producing a lava dome that was partially destroyed in the 1974 eruption. Within the past 280 years, a large explosive eruption uh, produced pyroclastic flows that partially filled the Glacier Creek Valley on the southwest uh, flank. So I wonder if that's the uh, darker gray that we got here. That's from uh, that past pyroclastic flow. Now it says here this image, um, well, it's just a copyright. I don't know what the date is. Oh, 1985. Yeah, I believe that one, I could be wrong. I'm sure you guys could tell me, but that one, when it erupted in 74, disrupted air travel and I thought there was another eruption more recently maybe one of you would remember uh, where it disrupted air travel going all the way to Europe yeah do any of you remember that the next one on the list is Aniachuk it says advisory color code yellow as of yesterday May 19th um, Aviatric, um, yellow advisory earthquake activity continued during the week. Uh, nothing significant seen on satellite imagery and webcam views. Well, the web camera is not working. You need to update that. Uh, change to current status, uh, was February 23rd from alert level normal to aviation code green well they changed it again to yellow advisory where is that one at okay let's zoom into its location 
Yeah, that's a little bit closer to Anchorage and all that. Okay, and there's the crater. Okay, and I want to see up to the north here um, would be Cook's Bay. I noticed over the last couple days, Alaska's been having uh, quite a few earthquakes. The next one is Trident. Um, aviation color code yellow as of yesterday. Uh, Trident yellow advisory. A slight increase in seismicity earthquakes. No eruptive activity or other unrest detected. Change to current status uh, was on February 22nd uh, from alert level normal to green and now it's back up to yellow. So there it is right there. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I also want to show you all the earthquakes that they've been having there in Alaska. So let's bring this out again a little bit because that's a little bit closer to, uh, yeah, Cook's Bay. So we have 26 earthquakes. This is probably close to that volcano, a 2.0 and then a 2.7. Uh, 19 miles in depth and then this one was uh, yeah that was deep 48 miles in depth then for the last week <laughs> yeah 502 look at them all let's bring this out what's this one this one's fairly large probably close to one of the yeah volcanoes a magnitude 5.4 that was deep 73 Point five miles in depth. Then the last one they have listed is Kilauea there in Hawaii. That was originally aviation code orange, but now now it's yellow. Evidently, people that are flying the numbers are still down. Um, but yeah, if you do plan on going on vacation or whatever, um, and the transportation of goods by air if any of those did um erupt yeah it would be uh, yeah <laughs> devastating so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching um a shout out to my uncle thank you for sending me that and i'll talk to you later god bless y'all bye <music>